Can we talk a little bit about Shah Rukh Khan? You worked with him. Yeah. And how do you think he's evolved from circus to now you're planning a film with him? Yes, boss. So much success. And See, Shah Rukh, again, I will equate, luckily, Shah Rukh being, I mean, he's still young, very, very young. But Shah Rukh is a very wise boy. In fact, I will say that Nana is more impulsive. Though Shah Rukh seems, Shah Rukh is wiser. Nana is more impulsive. You know what I'm trying to say? Luckily, Shah Rukh is a very wise boy. So he look after himself. And uh, all this success to me, at least I feel, will not go to his head that easily. It might. One doesn't know. But it will take a lot of hammering and of, you know what I'm saying, of success to go to his head. Because there is a certain wisdom in that boy. You know what I'm saying? Luckily. I mean, it's now these things are inherent. You know what I'm saying? So that I don't think should, at least at, I don't feel another year or two. Uske baad kya one doesn't know because one, he is still young. I think somewhere along the line he'll balance himself. Let's hope so. Even as an actor, he's taken so much risk. I mean, the, he bought But that's because he's wise. Shah Rukh does not want to be slaughtered either. You know what I'm saying? Shah Rukh will remain an actor throughout because even if he's no longer a hero, what I'm saying as age will pass, he is basically a character actor. He wants to play character roles. Incidentally, they're heroes. You know what I'm saying? So that has always been Shah Rukh's attitude. Ke the character must interest him. And he is again a very, very, he is 100% energy. I mean, the trait in both these people, Nana and Shah Rukh, is that their 100% dedication to that role, the amount of energy that boy has, in spite of being such a heavy smoker, I just can't believe it. The amount of energy that that boy can thrust into a role, energy. In fact, it's... Shah Rukh can be, in fact, can spoil you as a director. Shah Rukh can spoil you as a director. Because he's so much there, he's constantly trying to improvise, constantly, you know what I'm saying? So you start relaxing because he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Can I do this? Can I try this? And you, you keep judging how you do this. Then you start relaxing vis-a-vis -vis the other actors, which is wrong because you've got to be there with them. Not that they are bad, what I'm trying to say. But that Shah Rukh, that's again a trait of Shah Rukh. And hopefully, I hope it remains with him. The amount of energy that he puts into a role, energy, I'm not talking in physical terms. I'm talking the mental energy. What could happen? What could he do here? What would happen? Things like that. It's outstanding. And in fact, it's... I think it's a God gift that he's got. It's a God gift. Uh, you are working with Shah Rukh again in Yes Boss. Can you tell us a little bit about that role? What Shah Rukh plays in? I mean, the title is self-explanatory. It's Yes Boss. The Shah Rukh is a guy who's constantly saying Yes Boss, Yes Boss, Yes Boss. Again, it's... The price people have to pay for the ambitions, your ambition. And it's again the struggle. Like, I mean, I would like to tell stories. I, I like telling love stories. But love stories, I can't tell love stories of people who have settled in life. In fact, even my serials, whatever work I've done, I like telling stories of strugglers. And within that game, within that, you know, periphery, they're also in love. They've got their, they've got their strength, they've got their weak. But it's a constant survival for decency. Now this Charlie, like I have this guy, he's a yes boss guy, but he's got an ambition, which has been promised by the boss, you know what I'm trying to say? So I have that type of, Shah Rukh has understood the role, and in fact he's enjoying himself, he's enjoying himself doing that role. And uh, like for instance a love scene, now you can have a love scene anywhere, but my love scenes are on the bus stops, you know, because that's a convenient place where a middle class girl can stand without being ogled at, or a man can stand without being, you know, so my love scenes take place in bus stops, while other people, I'm not saying that, but it's how you have grown up, how you have viewed life. So we really, we are enjoying ourselves making the film. And Shah Rukh is doing a tremendous job. So is Juhi, Aditya, Pancholi, all of them are doing a very nice job. Let's see how it turns out. Let's hope it is. Thank you, Mr. Aziz. Yeah, my pleasure.